Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to learn how to send WhatsApp message to new Facebook leads. So you have created a Facebook lead generation form on any page and whenever a lead is received by you, you want to send a WhatsApp notification to them. So for that, you can create a complete automation with the help of Fably Connect where you will learn to integrate these two applications directly where our trigger will be the new lead generated from the Facebook lead ad and our action will be to send a template message on WhatsApp with the help of AI Sensi. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn that how you can send WhatsApp message to all the Facebook lead generation ad details over here. Like this is my Facebook page ABC Grocery Store and I have created a form over here that I can find from here from my Meta Business Suit, All Tools and here are my instant forms. So these are the forms that I have created and as soon as somebody through this Facebook page fills up this form, so the submission will be received in my workflow and then a message on WhatsApp will be sent as a notification to them that the registration or this flyers form has been submitted successfully. Let us create an automation and sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli and we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this automation. Click on access now which will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you will be able to see a big blue button on your right side where it's written Create Workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I'm going to name it as Send WhatsApp messages to Facebook Lead Ads Lead. Click on Create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will be able to see Trigger and Action, the two major modules of Pabli Connect on which the complete automation runs over here. Before that, remember to open up the tabs for Facebook and AI Sensi, the application that you are going to use to send a WhatsApp template message. Along with that, we are going to need Meta for developers as well. So let us begin that trigger is when this happens and action C is do this, which means that trigger is going to be the first application where the event will take place for the very first time. And as soon as that event takes place, this workflow will be triggered and then the action application will perform the assigned action. So the trigger over here is going to be Facebook lead ads where a lead will be received that is filling up a form and submission so that lead will be generated and this trigger will make sure that the action application which is going to be AI Sensi, WhatsApp by AI Sensi will send a template message. So let us begin with the trigger over here. Trigger is Facebook lead ads and this is the event. First of all for that you have to connect Facebook and Pabli Connect so that with this page, like whichever form is submitted on this page, then the data of that submission will be received over here as a response. Click on connect, add new connection and connect with Facebook lead ads. It will ask you to choose the account you're working upon. Click on continue and your connection will be successful. Once you connect, you will get the list of Facebook pages and the lead generation form that is created inside those pages. The name of this page is ABC Grocery Store. So I'm going to open the same. Here is my page and both the forms that I showed you in our Meta Business Suit will be visible over here. See, this is generated registration form and grocery flyers form. I'm going to choose the registration form over here. And when I click on save and send test request, it will bring the recent form submission over here. See, now Right now it is an empty data because no form was submitted recently. So now it is waiting for a webhook response. Let us go to our meta for developers, my apps over here, go to tools and here click on leads as RTO debug tool. Now when you reach this place, you have to choose the page and the form name over here. So first of all, look for your page over here. This is the one ABC grocery store and see the form is here. You can again choose the form from here only registration form, click on preview form and fill up the details in the form. So these are the details that were entered earlier. Now here I will enter the email address as a new customer who's filling up the form. So my email address is this. This is my full name and my number. Click on next and see it is submitted. All right, click on cancel and here you will receive the response of the newly entered data. See the email is here, the name is here and the phone number is here. Now by default you have received the form ID, created time and all the other data as well. So now we are going to use this contact number of this user to send a WhatsApp notification of a successful registration. Alright, so let us close this one over here and proceed with the action application which is WhatsApp by AI Sensei. Click on connect 
and add new connection. You have to enter the API key over here. So see, this help text says that go to manage API keys and generate API key. Open your AI Sensei account. This is manage on your left panel and then here API key. You have to copy this API key or you can regenerate a new key for the new workflow. See, this is the newly generated key. Copy it from here and paste it in your workflow. Click on save and your WhatsApp by ASNC will be connected to Pabli Connect so that the data that you have received in this workflow's trigger response can be used to send the WhatsApp message. You have to give a campaign name, mobile number, username and template parameter as well. Now these are some of the important details. Rest of them can be left empty if not required by your situation over here. The campaign name is basically a template, the already created message that you will be using. So these are the campaigns over here. Before we select the campaign name, we need to learn how are we going to use the campaigns. Like you can see, we have a campaign called new leads over here. If you open it, the template given to you is hello. Your form submission from this specific email maybe can be entered over here is received successfully regards. So now this is done, which means that we can actually use this campaign. So let us know the campaign name, which is new leads only. So I'm going to copy this name from here and paste it in my field. All right, you can erase the rest of the part, which is copied by mistake. Mobile number can be mapped directly from the leads submission here. Username, so username also you can map over here, which is this. All right, name of the user to whom the campaign has to be sent, which is the person to whom we are sending the message on WhatsApp. Source, we don't need. It's not compulsory. If you want, you can enter it over here. So here we will enter the template template parameter like we have in our template two variables one and two so first we will enter what is supposed to be mapped over here in one and then the two part so hello the name of the user and two will be the email so i'm going to map the name all right put a comma and then i will map the email address of that person all right so we have filled almost all the important details over here now we will simply click on save and send test request because then we will receive a response telling us that the message sending has been successful See, it says success, true, the message has been sent to the specific mobile number with the customer and also using this template. Let us go to our WhatsApp and check, were we able to send the message or not? So this is my WhatsApp and see here I have received a message, registration successful. Hello demo user, the name of the person is here. Your form submission from the email address like we mapped is received successfully and regards. That means that with the help of this workflow, whenever a Facebook lead will be received here as a response, then that information will be used to send a message on WhatsApp by AI Sensei. So this was the whole video. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.